Hey guys, this is Woodif here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Championship Mode for Race 7 of 12. We're going to Pocono. Last race was at, what was it on the schedule? Eldora. <laughs> that was uh, easily the worst race of, of the season for ourselves. So Pocono should be a lot better than Eldora, I can at least say that much. So we're going into this. Auto hard difficulty, 25% race length, 3 times tire and fuel, strict yellow, single stages, quick qualifying race. And we're going to be using a default setup, basically just a wedge adjustment. Overall, that's pretty much what it is. Standings, we definitely lost the points lead after Eldora. We're 22 points back from Ben Rhodes. So, yeah, the points battle is still pretty tight, relatively speaking. We're under one race behind. But Briscoe and Truex, and almost, most of the top ten are, okay, maybe 8th, maybe 7th. <laughs> Are around the leader. I don't know. So, anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna get right into qualifying, show you the custom setup, and then we'll just, you know, get into everything else. Here's what our custom setup's gonna be uh, just basically a wedge adjustment, I and mean, that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll, I'll up the grill tape just a little bit, that might help us out, so that's about the only thing I'm gonna add to it. So, let's just get qualifying over with, and hopefully, we start okay. Go, 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 go. Off turn three, I feel like turns one and two, I just did not get through there as good as I could have possibly been. But, 28, so we're going to be on the outside line. Um, might be good for at least this track, I don't really know. So who got the pole? Uh, Chris Rubel, Ben Rose second, Chastain fourth, huh, okay. Alright, let's uh, hope we can do okay in this race. Here we go, the race is about to begin, get ready. And the green flags that were underway. I don't know how many laps this is in particular. I didn't shift in the third gear right away, so that kind of sucks. I'm going to try to get to the bottom here. And I could try to go on the outside, but it seems like the bottom's going to go for now. So, well, as I say that, I kind of contradict myself, so <laughs> disregard what I said. So 15 laps. This is like the shortest race on the truck series schedule by by a margin. It's always it's weird how short this track, or at least this race length is. So we're in a clear Corbin Forrester. We'll have the outside lane, normally not the lane you want to go into in the tunnel turn. But we're gonna try to make it work. Brendan Brown just gets sideways. I should turn my mirror on, so that'll help me a bit. Oh my god, whoever this Smith car is, I I don't even know his first name. Could look at the leaderboard, but I don't want to do that right now. Let's just get through turn three, ride the curbs or whatever there a little bit off turn three and there we go get into 25th gain three spots in that first lap and it seemed that first lap was pretty smooth who was that zane smith what what a name zane zane that's a weird name <laughs> we're gonna go through turn one bump into clay greenfield one thing I was noticing even when I was practicing at this track, it's just like the just being in the draft is so important. It's almost like a mini restrictor plate. Because like if you lose the draft, you just you can't gain on them. It could be a factor of the auto hard difficulty or, or what, but it's just really, really freaking tough. And mind you, I mean it's kinda true because the this I don't know, like auto hard difficulty it feels like the AI drivers are much faster. And it's just really, really like prevalent in these straightaways since these straightaways are pretty long but in the corners you can kind of hold your own so it's just this weird balance yet again we complete another lap only gain one spot there just need to get a decent finish and i feel like bristol and like the canadian tire track and texas and what, homestead like i think we'll do really well there just so had to finish this race with a good finish and from I, I think it, what we're gonna do when uh, pit stops come around on lap 10 for ourselves or maybe 11 I don't know we're gonna take two tires and just nearly 1.5 cans of fuel roughly give or take oh my god it just doesn't turn oh god I'm so scared <laughs> it's just it's just I'm just so afraid I'm gonna wreck not tunnel turn like you really have to almost have nobody around you just to kind of nail that entry perfectly. So we get by uh, Jennifer, I think. Yep. I mean, we're gaining spots. We're moving up every uh, like a few spots per lap, which is good. I just don't know if it's good enough to to obviously win the race or even get a top 10. Again, because of that Eldora race, we're kind of in a hole in the points. We're almost one full uh, race behind, almost. 
from that race alone. So I just really got to try to do our best now. And we're kind of just, I don't know, because Ben Rhodes is leading it, I believe. I think he qualified like second or somewhere up there. I don't know if he's leading now as I botched the tunnel turn. I'm amazingly didn't fuck it up too bad. Oh my god, do that. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, thank god. That could have been bad, but that's all of those goddamn spots. Okay, I'm I'm pretty fucking pissed right now. <laughs> Oh my god, a big crash! Oh, Kaylee Deegan died. Um, hmm. That is... I was gonna just about to say, we're making our way up through the field a little bit, and... So we're gonna go with uh, 1.5 cans of fuel, two tires, not repair damage, leave everything else as is. Hopefully we can gain some spots here by just taking two tires, at least I hope so. And we lose three spots. Oh my god, this, this race can be just... <laughs> It's, gonna be, it's just going to be hard to just get back up to the fucking field. Mm. So Cody Coughlin obviously in, in the back here after he wrecked. Seven more to go. And we're good on fuel, but I was really hoping that would go green just because I think if we did the two-tire strategy on a green flag pit stop, we could have possibly gain spots, but that's out the window, and now we're pretty much back to where we were qualifying, or roughly. And they're just kind of, just, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh my god, this sucks. I don't know why. Auto hard difficulty is really fucking hard. And the truck series, for some reason, it's like the slower you are, it's just the harder it, it just kind of is. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to use Haley Deegan as a wall. Freaking Zane Smith, I think, is on my inside. We'll clear him. We're still in 27th. Oh my gosh. Just, I don't even know who's leading. Looks like Christopher Bell and maybe Matt Craft in second. Really, the only thing I can do now is just try to kind of, you know, get a good finish if I can. Try to get top 15. I don't even know. I just, just they're just so bunched up. Like even before that wreck happened, they're just so bunched up. It's just so stupid. Like, you think it would spread out a little bit, but they just don't. Which I would, I would like to have it be a little bit like, you know, more broken up or something, so I can at least make some spots or do something. Cause it's just so, it just can't really do much. Could try to go three wide, but you don't want to go three wide in the tunnel turn. Even two wide's a pain in the ass. Especially with, you know, how, you know, weird the sensitivity of the truck is. I don't know. You really just have to be precise. It's, just, it's kind of hard to really be really, really accurate with how you're going to dive it into the corner. I don't know, but... We're gaining some spots. We're going to get just touched Cameron Haley. I think that's Justin Haley. Who, I don't know. So we're in 24th, Cobbery's right up in front of me. Okay, good draft here, get to the inside of Jennifer Joe Cobb. Clay Greenfield's up there, the field's breaking up. Yeah, definitely breaking up a little bit up in front of me, so that's nice to see. As somebody blows a tire and just wrecks John under Nemechek, I think. And there goes the yellow and kills Jennifer Joe Cobb. Oh my god, this is a shit show. <laughs> I'm not even causing any wrecks. Oh my god. And Ben Rhodes is 10th. Yeah, Bell's first. TJ Bell, 4th. Yeah, we're obviously staying out, but our chances of getting any decent finish, I think, is just over. It's... I just don't see it happening. I mean, it's just they're just taking us way too much time just to gain spots every here and there. And green flag's back out. We should only have... It's basically a green-white checker, but we're going at the scheduled distance. So, yeah, this is... I don't know. I mean, really, have not done much in this whole race. I mean, I'm trying to make something work. Just, I mean, maybe being on the outside here can do something. I don't know. I mean, it kind of works. It kind of works. We gain two spots, but then we're going to be stuck on the outside going in tunnel turn, or we can just, you know, get pinched into the wall by Duzat. Well, not really, but it's just, it just gave me no room. Jennifer, just go by. Like, I don't want to... Oh, my God, please nobody... Okay, I thought somebody was going to stick their nose in there. So, I... Oh, God, somebody's slowing up. Thank you. You know what? I'll take it. So, I feel like if this race just ran, like, just another 25% longer, I think we could probably have a top 10 truck. Just we don't have enough laps, and just we're getting cautions, and it just keeps killing our, our race. So one more time around to gain more spots. I don't know if it's going to be... 
possible, but we just need to salvage something out of this, so... Uh, I could have dived in there to get by Yaley, but it just just didn't have enough of a run. We'll get by Chami Joe Martins, though, so... My god, his hood's all bent up. <laughs> oh, god. Now, this is the white flag, and we're at the scheduled distance, so... Uh, theoretically, a caution could still come out and kind of screw this race up, so... I'm almost expecting it. So, I don't know. We kind of get through that tunnel turn perfectly because there was no cars around me, finally. Try to do something in turn three, but I don't think it's going to happen. And... Uh, Tommy Joe, nope. Oh, are they? I, I thought I heard some crew chief say people are pinning, but I guess I'm just imagining things. <laughs> well, we'll get 18th. That sucks. I mean, just didn't have any time to do much of anything. That one mistake screwed me, but I mean... That's, this race is short as is, and then add on the caution laps, and that's just like just goes by even faster. Let's look at the finishing results. Um, John Hunter, after exploding a tire, gets 11th still. I don't know how that works. And Tyler Young got last. And Christopher Bell won. Freakin Smith fourth, and Stuart Friesen. Yeah, I man, we're gonna be such we're gonna be such a hole in the fucking points. I can tell it already. We're down to ninth. I don't know where the leader is, but yeah, we're just, I can only imagine us being probably more than one full race behind at this point. So next race is Bristol and points for 212. Yeah, we're like uh, 31 points back, but pretty much almost one full race behind. So yeah, Rhodes has a 14 point gap over Truex and End Fingers right there, as well as Briscoe. They're just a three-way three -way tie for the second. Stuart Friesen's there, Noah Gregson, Christopher Bell, they're all kind of there. So, yeah. I just, from here on out, we really just have to do well. I think we can, going into Bristol. Because we have that. We can do well there. Talladega, I know we can do well. I think every track from here on out, we can do really well. So, I have some faith. Just really, just can't afford another bad one. Or bad race, I should say. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters of Dan Rell, Scott Browning, Roland Hoffer, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Jeff Gordon, and Ryan Lassen for a donation again. I can't thank you enough for your contribution and support to the channel. It does mean a lot to me, and I can't ever thank you guys enough for it, because you this is so awesome. See you all for Bristol. I think we'll do well. I think I think we can win. And then we'll get back in the championship hunt. So, yeah. See you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.